Fish oil is one of the most popular supplements on the market. You have probably heard about benefits of fish oil for your heart or to decrease your cholesterol and triglycerides level, but have you heard about using fish oil for arthritis? Rheumatologist on call.com. Hi there, I'm Dr. Gurnita and I will welcome you to join me in this lecture where I will discuss about what is fish oil and what are the polyunsaturated fatty acids, omega-3 and omega-6, how is fish oil related to inflammation, what is the evidence to support the use of fish oil in arthritis, and how much fish oil is recommended. What is fish oil? In the 1970s, a few observational studies showed that people that consume large amount of seafood had far less frequent heart disease. This observation led to extensive research to examine the health benefits of eating more seafood. Every year, patients spend about $2 million to buy fish oil supplements. Fish oil is extracted from fatty or oily fish, such as trout, mackerel, tuna, herring, sardines, and salmon. Fish oil is the source of omega-3 fatty acids. Over time, many studies suggested that using fish oil may have great benefits such as decreased level of triglycerides, decreased blood pressure, decreased heart rate and heart rate variability, and most important for us, decreased inflammation and improving inflammatory arthritis. Omega-3 and omega-6 are polyunsaturated fatty acids. These are essential fatty acids. Why do we call them essential? It's because they cannot be produced by our own body and we need to get them from food. The omega-6 fatty acids are the most predominant type of fatty acids in the human diet. They contain the linolenic acid, the gamma-linolenic acid, and arachidonic acid. And they can be found in many of the seed oils, like corn or sunflower, but also in beef cattle fed on a diet of grains and conventionally produced eggs. The omega-6 family of polyunsaturated fatty acids have mostly pro-inflammatory effects on our body. Now, the omega-3 family of polyunsaturated fatty acids contain the alpha-linolenic acid, the EPA, and the DHA. I'm not going to tell the names, but you can read them here. They are less frequently found in the Western diet. The omega-3 fatty acids are found in fish oil, but they are also found in flaxseed or flaxseed oil, in walnuts, walnut oil, in soybean, in pumpkin seeds, in algae, in olive oil, and wild fish. Fishes like sardines, wild caught salmon, herring, or black cod has a big amount of omega-3s in their components. How is fish oil related to inflammation? As I mentioned, fish oil is the major source of omega-3. Omega-3 fatty acids are involved in regulating inflammation. The omega-3 and 6 fatty acids are found in the cellular membranes of immune cells. Taking omega-3 fatty acid supplements can change the composition of cell membranes and also it can inhibit certain enzymes that can further produce molecules that are involved in creating more inflammation. For example, omega-3 fatty acids, they can inhibit an enzyme called cyclooxygenase or COX enzymes. This is the same enzyme that is inhibited by aspirin or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication. 
that will decrease the production of prostaglandins and in consequence, this process will reduce inflammation. What is the evidence to support the use of fish oil in arthritis? We discussed the effect of omega-3 on inflammation and inflammatory molecules. In a meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials, marine-derived omega-3 fatty acids had a lowering effect on molecules that produce inflammation, like C-reactive protein, interleukin-6, or tumor necrosis alpha. How about the use of fish oil in people with inflammatory arthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis is the most common form of inflammatory arthritis. Many studies suggested that fish oil supplements are effective in reducing inflammation and also symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. Let me introduce you to this randomized controlled trial that involved 139 patients. Most of those had recent onset of rheumatoid arthritis. This study proved that adding a high dose of fish oil to the triple therapy that we know, methotrexate, sulfasalazine, plus hydroxychloroquine, significantly increased the number of people that were able to get into remission. The same study showed that these people had lower disease activity, just adding fish oil to the triple regimen of rheumatoid arthritis. Now, the dose that they used was 5.5 grams per day. That is a little bit more than that is approved by FDA, which is about four grams per day. There are also other studies suggesting that omega-3 fatty acid supplementation provides symptomatic relief in patients with lupus or ankylosing spondylitis. When it comes to osteoarthritis, which is the wear and tear arthritis, there are many conflicting results. There are some studies that support the use of fatty acids, the omega-3 fatty acids, but there are also studies that do not show the same results. How about using fish oil for back pain? Many patients that suffer from back pain or neck pain will use anti-inflammatory medication like NSAIDs to address their pain. This study included 250 patients with back or neck pain, and fish oil was recommended to start after their evaluation. 75% of patients used 1,200 milligrams of fish oil, and 25% used 2,400 milligrams of fish oil. The results of the study were quite impressive. In just four months, 59% of patients discontinued to take their prescription non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication. 60% stated that their overall pain had improved and also that their joint pain is much better. 80% of patients were satisfied with their improvement and 88% of patients reported that they will continue to use the fish oil. Very important to note was that there was no significant side effects reported in this study with the use of fish oil. What is an appropriate dose for fish oil? The minimal effective dose is considered between 2.5 and 4 grams per day, EPA plus DHA. The FDA has approved a dose of 4 grams per day, which seems to be safe in many patients. Although in the past there was a warning that fish oil can increase the risk of bleeding, a recent study published in 2020 did not find this risk increased. I would like to warn you that some fish oil products might be contaminated with mercury. You should also take fish oil with a meal, as other dietary fats will improve the absorption of omega-3 fatty acids. Before you start any supplement, including fish oil, discuss with your physician. 
This is an educational video only and does not offer you medical advice. Fish oil can affect your blood pressure medication or contraceptive medication and it may reduce the vitamin E levels. Rheumatologist on call .com.